Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the cheat manager? The cheat manager is a class provided in Unreal Engine four that gives you access to predefined functions that allow you to cheat. Basically, you get access to things such as flying god mode and items that would be helpful during the debugging process. Now the cheat manager itself is a class. If you wanted to make your own, you could always create a new blueprint class and type in cheat and we'll find the cheat manager right here. Once we have an actual cheat manager created, it's just simply a parent class of cheat manager. There's not much in here. There's a few specific things you can do that are covered in their own videos, but we have two overridable functions. We can override init cheat manager. That's basically the begin play and shut down, which is the end play. Now in terms of actually getting access to it, the cheat manager can be accessed by our controller. Inside of our controller in our class defaults, we have the cheat manager section and we have the cheat class. By default, one will be created for you automatically called cheat manager. You can choose your own, obviously. In this case, I'm choosing mine right here. Now it does state that the cheat manager is a central blueprint to implement test and debug code and the actions that are not sh to ship with the game. The cheat manager is not instance and shipping builds. It's for debugging purposes only. So keep that in mind. If you want something that's supposed to be only for debugging purposes, you have a built in class called the cheat manager. Now in terms of actually using it, you get it off your player controller and you would grab your cheat manager and then you would access anything specifically inside of it. Or the cheat manager itself has its own built in functions that are covered in their own videos. Things like flying, god mode, ghosting through items, destroying targets, and our debug camera. Again, these are covered all in their own individual videos. And that's basically it. That is the cheat manager in a nutshell. We have a class called the cheat manager. We can edit it as needed. It's accessed through the controller and you can change it to your specific type. And if you wish to use in the built-in functions, you'd access it again through the controller, getting the cheat manager and using the built-in functions.